Hey guys, this is Nalini here. Welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make this beautiful hair tie. So, uh, it's the way we'll make it. The This is an adjustable wine. So, you can just uh, keep your flowers like this or you can just keep them together. So, you can just pull one end and adjust the height accordingly so that you'll come to know in the tutorial so do follow the tutorial and i hope that it will be helpful for you so if you like the video then do consider subscribing uh, according to the analytics almost 90 to 91 percent of my viewers are not subscribed so do help me out and like share and subscribe and do comment and let me know whether this video was helpful for you and if you have any doubts you can just ask me in the comment section and i'll try to clear that so let's get started so to make that hair tie i'm going to use blue and dark blue color so i'm going to make two flowers of one what color and then we're going to use a green color then i'm using a four millimeter hook and a darning needle or a tapestry needle and a thread cutter or a pair of scissors so to begin we are going to make a magic circle and this is how i make a magic circle just hold the tail and hold the yarn like this and now with the help of your hook just twist your yarn pinch it here bring the loop up yarn over and pull through and then the loop is there we have to just twist it chain one so the right side has single strand and the left side has double strand and now we are going to make six single crochets into the circle so make sure to yarn around both the loops so insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over and pull through so our first single crochet is done uh, at this point if you want you can just mark your stitch so this is two three four five and six so our six single crochets are done and now we can just pull the tail to close the circle like this and after closing the circle we are going to insert our hook into the first single crochet which we made so if suppose you didn't mark and you're con uh, confused which is your first stitch you can just count backwards one two three four five and six so it'll be better that you mark your stitch because this is going to be a continuous or a spiral crocheting so we're not going to end around with a slip stitch we're directly going to the second round by making a single crochet so at this point I'll just make the first stitch. Now this will be my first stitch of the second round. So if you have a stitch marker, you can mark the stitch. But I'll be using a piece of yarn. So I'm going to use this piece of yarn. So or we can just open and I'll just show you again. So just hold your yarn like this and now you can go to the first single crochet which you made and make your first stitch. <clears throat> so your first stitch is marked so now in this round two what we are going to do is we are going to make one increase in every stitch so i've already made one single crochet so i'm going to make one more in the same stitch 
like this and now we're going to go in the next stitch and make two single crochets one and two so again in the next one two single crochets so like this we're going to make a total of 12 single crochets so i'll just finish this and come back to you so i've made my 12 single crochets that is two single crochets in one stitch so one increase in every stitch so this is total of 12 single crochets which i have made so now for the next round what we are going to do is we're going to make one single crochet in each stitch so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the same yarn for marking purpose so I'll just bring this yarn across like this and now I'm going to make the first stitch into the same first stitch which we made of the previous round so just insert your hook make your first single crochet and now one single crochet in each stitch so one i've already made so there should be a total of 12 so one and now just count and make your 12 single crochets till you reach to the first stitch So I've reached to the last single crochet so in this round I've made a total of 12 single crochets and now I'm going to repeat the same procedure two times and then we'll see the height if it, it is sufficient or not so repeat the same procedure or the same step two more times so two rounds of 12 single crochets so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cross the yarn again to mark it like this and this is my first stitch so make 12 single crochets from here so one two like this just make two more rounds and then we'll just see whether the height is sufficient or not so I'm done making my rows so I have made one extra row because the size of the height of the flower was not matching with this one this one i had made earlier so now it's okay they are matching because this is a different yarn this is a slightly thicker yarn so in this three rows was sufficient but uh, this one needed one more row because it's a thinner yarn so now we are going to go for the these petals this shape so what we are going to do is we are just going to make a slip stitch over here in the first stitch which we made like this and now in the same stitch we are going to make a single crochet oh wait I didn't make chain one so make your first chain and now make a single crochet then make a half double crochet and then make a single crochet so all these three stitches go into one stitch and now into the next stitch make slip stitch and then again the same thing we're going to do in the next stitch so in the next stitch make your single crochet half double crochet and single crochet again like this and then into the next stitch we're going to slip stitch
now only one stitch is left so we can just go ahead and make a petal there it doesn't make much of a difference so you can just go and make your last petal single crochet so after making your last single crochet we are going to go into this space where uh, this stitch in which we made the first petal so just go into that and make your slip stitch like this and then you can just chain one and cut your yarn and you can just remove your stitch marker and now I'll just weave in the ends so first we'll go for this one so what you can do is just make your flower inside out and just let your needle go through a few stitches like this So now let's make the leaf and then we are going to make the vine. To make the leaves we are going to chain 16 first. So just make a slip knot and 1, 2, 3, 4. So uh, 16 chains are done and now what we are going to do is we're going to skip the first stitch and into the second one we are going to make a single crochet so a single crochet is done now into the next chain we are going to make half double crochet and now into the next three chains we are going to make a double crochet so and three so our three double crochets are done now again we are going to make a half double crochet into the next stitch and uh, into the next stitch we are going to make a single crochet and into the next one we are going to make a slip stitch so what we've done here is we've made single half double 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 half single so we started with a single and ended with a single so it's single half and half single now again we are going to make the same thing over this side so we are going to start with a single crochet then half double crochet into the next and then into the next three chains we are going to make double crochet so one two and three then into the next one we are going to make a half double crochet and into the last one we are going to make a single crochet
like this and now to go to the next side we are going to chain one and slip stitch into the same stitch and then we are going to chain one and now into the same stitch we are going to make first single crochet of this side like this sorry and into the next one half double crochet so I'm just carrying the tail along with the yarn so that it gets woven in now into the next three one two three we are going to make one double crochet into each stitch so one two and three then again into the next one we are going to make half double crochet and into the next one one single crochet and then into the next one slip stitch and now again the same set we are going to start with a single crochet into the next one half double crochet then three double crochet in the next three stitches one one each and into the next one one half double crochet and into the last one one single crochet then you can just chain one and cut the yarn and just pull it out so our leaf is done and now we'll just weave in this tail now this was the right side and this flatter section is the wrong side so in the wrong side we'll just go through few stitches like this And now we can just cut the tail and our leaf is done so to make the vines we are going to make 40 chains so I'll just leave a little longer tail because we need this tail to tie the flower so let's make 40 chains so we'll just make a slip knot and then one two three four five six seven eight thirty seven thirty eight thirty nine forty so we've made our 40 chains and now we can just make one extra chain and then we'll cut our yarn uh, we'll just leave a little longer tail as we did in the beginning so just remove the hook and tighten it so our vine is ready so now we are going to join this with the leaf so I'll show you how 
so we have a leaf here we have a hair tie and we have a vine here so what i'm going to do is so we're just gonna thread a needle and keep and now what we are going to do is as you can see here we can see the slip stitch in the middle so we're just going to turn our leaf over towards the wrong side so you can see the good finishing is there towards your right side so you can see all the curves and when you turn it that's the wrong side it'll be a little flatter kind of a thing so you'll come to know so what we'll be doing is as you can see these loops from the slip stitch so we're just going to pull the back loop of the slip stitch or from the right uh, or from the wrong side which is gonna lift those back loops from the both side you can just lift those back loops so that uh, your vine can go through that otherwise it will be very difficult uh, it won't pass through the loops so now we are good to go so just insert both uh, not both just one loop you just insert your vine like this and then we can just keep a hair tie just pass your wine through that and then finally you can just pass it through the other loop like this so like this our hair tie is included naturally into the wine so we didn't need to stitch it at all and now you can just let it pass through and it you can just turn it down like this by pulling it uh, and why i kept it like that because it is adjustable you can just adjust your flowers if you want them to be of the same height or if you want uh, one flower to be a little up or down you can just adjust it by just pulling your vine so that the flowers may look pretty as you wish it so our hair tie has been attached and now let's move on to the flowers so now our flowers are ready to be attached to the vine so what we're going to do is just thread your needle again and now we'll just pass it through the around the magic circle in the opposite directions like this just insert your hook from one side and remove it from the other side and just come till the chains start and then you can just tie it tie it carefully so that uh, um, it doesn't go too far from the chains so you can just make a simple tie and by gently sliding the yarn down just make the knot like this and then you can just tie it one more time to secure it again gently pass the yarn down and then just make the knot yes and now we can just insert a needle from the inside out of the magic circle and pass a yarn through it so i have inserted the eye of the needle so that we can just thread it and pass the yarn to the inner side So we insert it here and just you can just pull it and bring it out like this and now we can just weave the tail end 
just pass your needle through some stitches and then we can just cut the yarn okay or you can just go leave one loop and then just go back again to be super safe yes so the same way we are going to tie the other flower And then just flip it up back again our basically our hair tie is ready so you can just adjust the flower if you want it to be the same size you can just keep it like this or if you want one flower little down then you can just pull the wine a little bit and just leave it so it'll be like this so what I'm going to do is since my customer wants it covered all over so I'm just going to uh, make a round of single crochets around this to cover it so it's totally optional if you want to keep it like this you can just keep it like this so if suppose you decide to cover the whole thing then I'll just show you briefly what I'm going to do so you can just insert your hook into the single crochet or the back loop over here like this you can just take the single crochet and join your yarn over here leave the tail and now you can just keep making single crochets till you reach to the other end like this So just hold the tail and just keep making single crochets like this so I'll just finish this and I'll get back to you so I'm done making all the single crochets so I've covered the hair tie and now I'm just going to make a slip stitch into the first single crochet of this side uh, we made one single crochet to join here the same thing we are going to do over here so just insert your hook and make a slip stitch then you can just chain one and cut the yarn and now I'll just weave this in so you can weave it in the stitches or in the leaf any of the two you can do it so I'll just weave it in the stitches of uh, the hair tie so don't let it pass through the hair tie just from the stitches like this So here it is guys 
our hair ties are done so this one also i have made for the same customer so either you can keep one flower up and one flower down or you can keep both of them together like this so they look absolutely beautiful and the choice is yours and that's how i didn't stitch it or tie it together with this so once uh like you decide how you want it if you want you can just uh tie it once tie both the flowers together like you can just pass it through and tie it and let it hang so it's adjustable the height is adjustable so you can just go ahead and try to make these and i hope you like the video and forgive me for not sounding that enthusiastic uh, i'm not feeling well but i hope that you understood how i made this so do try this and let me know if this was helpful if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section so until the next video bye bye